A red petition filed by former Minister of Health Kheli Rambukkalla seeking to invalidate the order by the Maliga Khanda magistrate to keep him on remand custody until the conclusion of the case pertaining to the procurement of substandard human immunoglobulin medicine was heard yesterday before the appeal court judge D. N. Samarakun. While highlighting that the petitioner had earlier filed a fundamental rights petition before the Supreme Court challenging his arrest by the CID, Deputy Solicitor General Nirmalan Vigneswaran, who presented his preliminary objections, said that the judiciary cannot consider this petition until the hearing of the FR petition is over. The Deputy Solicitor General cited that the fundamental rights petition in this petition was not disclosed in the paperwork and thereby he claimed that the former health minister has concealed facts from the court. He also pointed out that when the petitioner had the opportunity to file a revision application in response to the order of the magistrate court to reject his bail application, he instead filed a petition before the Supreme Court violating the existing legal procedures. He said that the former minister's conduct in filing petitions to exploit his human right to file petitions is unacceptable. With the Deputy Solicitor General concluding his objection, the appeal court judge questioned whether he was accusing the judiciary of allegations based on certain comments that were made in the submission. While saying no to the appeal court judge, the Deputy Solicitor General pointed out that he was apparently accusing the petitioner and added that steps need to be taken to prevent him from misusing the judiciary. Speaking further, Deputy Solicitor General Nirmalan Vigneshwaran said that, per prison regulations, a suspect under remand custody must sign an affidavit within the confines of prison. Instead of doing so, he pointed out that the former health minister signed an affidavit while in attendance in Parliament, highlighting that he committed a wrongdoing per the prison's ordinance and has misused parliamentary privileges. President's Counsel Faiz Mustafa, who appeared on behalf of the petitioner, said that, legally, it is wrong to keep him under remand custody until the conclusion of the trial. President's Counsel Mustafa said that, under provisions of the Public Property Act, the Attorney General has to file indictments before the High Court. Pointing out the absence of said indictments, he questioned why the petitioner was kept under remand custody until the conclusion of the case. Meanwhile, through an interim petition, President's Counsel Chandagajaya Sundara, who appeared representing the Bar Association upon the instructions of Attorney at Law G.G. Arul Pragasam, claimed that the Bar Association decided to intervene in this case by considering public welfare and added that they accept all the preliminary objections presented by the Attorney General. Taking the facts presented before the court into account, Appeal Court Judge D. N. Samarakon said that the decision pertaining to the consideration of the writ application filed by former Minister of Health Kehli Rambukkalla will be announced on the 30th of this month. Taking the facts presented before the court into account, Appeal Court Judge D. N. Samarakon said that the decision pertaining to the consideration of the writ petition filed by former Minister of Health Rambukkalla will be announced on the 30th of this month. Meanwhile, the bail application filed by the Additional Secretary to the Health Ministry, who is currently under remand custody in connection with the case pertaining to the procurement of substandard human immunoglobulin medicines, has been rejected. When Dr. Saman Ratnaik was produced before the Maliga Khan the Magistrate's Court earlier today, Magistrate Lochani Abhivikrama ordered that the accused be further held in remand custody until the conclusion of the hearing.